the channel. So today I'm going to give you a yard and farm tour. Um, I hadn't planned on doing this for another th few weeks. Today was supposed to be Freddie's first outing off the yard, which I thought would be quite exciting. Um, but a few things happened this week that meant he's actually done nothing at all. Um, so we tried to give him a friend in the field, but in true Freddie style, he was much more interested in eating. Um, and his friend wanted to play, so he had a couple of little kicks, nothing bad, and he's absolutely fine. Um, but because he's got zero fat on him at the moment, we decided to separate them and maybe we can try again um, when he's a bit fatter. So that was the first thing. And then the second thing, he came in with a massive horsefly bite right where his girth would go. Um, so obviously I couldn't ride him. Um, and then on Thursday, he had his first McTimony chiropractic session. Um, went really well. He was a little bit wonky as to be expected. Um, but yeah, he's hopefully ready to go again. So I'm going to head down the yard now in the rain. Lovely. Um, and I'll give him a little lunge um, and then see how he is. Hopefully he's all good. Yeah. So yard tour. Um, I'm on a DIY livery yard. Um, it's about a 30, 35 minute drive away. So when I first moved there, I was a lot closer. It was like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but I love the yard and the hacking is brilliant. You will see that in a little while anyway. Um, and then you'll understand why I drive so far every day. <laughs> um, and I did film a fair bit of the hacking on Thursday. And I have a feeling that I witted on about how much we needed rain quite a lot. Um, and as you can see, we're now getting it. Might even be able to go for a nice trot and canter, you never know. Um, and I may have fallen foul to internet shopping. Freddie's now got some nice outfits to wear when I can finally get back on him. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drive there, give you a tour, and then we can go on a little adventure with Macy again. See you later! <laughs> come into the yard we've got the hay barn this is my hay um, I just make up Cleo's nets because I don't really have time in the week so at the weekend make up a load of nets don't have to worry about it um, my sister does Macy's and Freddie has his on the floor so that makes life nice and easy and then we have the muck trailer really exciting <laughs> And then we come on to the main yard. So all the horses are in during the day at the moment um, because it's supposedly summer. And this is Cleo Stable. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. Happy to see you too. So Cleo's lucky. She's in. A nice big falling stable. Uh, <laughs> what? And video in your house? Get over it. Um, she was actually in the stable that Macy's in, but she got offended every time somebody walked past, as you can see. So now she's in the nice big stable outside where everyone pretty much leaves her alone. The second she comes out of the stable, she's much happier. <laughs> so outside Cleo's stable, I have my drawers where all of my boots are kept, um, so it's just quick and easy. And then over here, I have my first aid kit, um, Cleo's bridle, just because then it's easy to get to, and a nice plastic box for their breakfast. 
so the little rats can't eat it. <laughs> so Cleo gets a nice view of the whole yard from her stable. But the best bit is this little face. Oh, no, go away. <laughs> Don't bite me. Delightful. Come on, be serious. Good girl. <laughs> you can see why she didn't want to be inside the barn, huh? <laughs> and then in we go to the barn. Hi, Fernie. So this is Macy's stable here. Excuse the rubbish, that's me <laughs> in the week. I promise I'll clear that up today. Um, so Macy's got a really nice stable as well. It's nice and big and she's got a window that, oh, you can't see her. Oh, there she is. As you can see Cleo. <laughs> Aren't you lucky, Mace? It's a bit dark in here. And right down the other end of the barn in the corner is Freddy. Hello. Hi. So again, he's got a nice big stable, nice and airy. Um, excuse the cobwebs as well, haven't cleared those. <laughs> Good boy. Let's have a quick look in there. Oh, that looks pretty clean. Good boy. You wanna say hi? <laughs> hi, Mist. <laughs> so Freddie and Misty both live next to our feed room um, and as you can see they know exactly what's in here Misty can only just see over the wall bless her <laughs> um, so this is my big feed bin here and the lovely sign that was out cl outside Cleo's stable warning everyone that she might bite your head off <laughs> this is too amusing not to put in um and then up those stairs is the tack room. I'm not actually going to take you in there um, because there's so many of us, there's lots of stuff and I don't really want to be videoing everybody else's tack, just in case, you never know. So, so that was a super quick tour of the yard. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few horses here, some outside, some in the barn. Um, there is another yard down the bottom that you'll see in the hacking video um, and also another yard at the other end of the farm that you'll also see in a little while when I take you up there. Um, so I am going to get Macy ready, take you around the rest of the farm that I haven't showed you in the video from Thursday that you'll see in a minute. Um, and then when the arena's free, we'll lunge Fred and make sure he's ready to rock and roll tomorrow. Freddie said I wasn't allowed to go yet. He needed some scratches. Oh, what's this? Oh, so nice. So nice. <laughs> He's definitely the cuddliest one of the three. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, this is too cute. I just spotted this and had to include it. Happy birthday, Bruni. Happy birthday. <laughs> so... We are all dressed up, ready to get a soak in. <laughs> Lovely, makes you sound super impressed. So I'm gonna jump on. Um, so you'll probably see Thursday's footage first, because I think I did a little intro, can't actually remember. Um, and then I'll go and show you the bits that I missed on Thursday today.
chosen a very good day to do a, a tour of the farm. It's kind of windy, so I hope you can hear me. Um, so from up here, you can probably see the amount of hill work we have, uh, which is really good for getting them fit when we want to go venting. Um, at the moment, it is really hard, obviously, so I'm not doing too much. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of hills, loads of different ground um, right up the top. So up there, <laughs> Um, it's a really big field that you can have a nice canter around um, and there's there's so many different tracks around the farm you could probably hack out for an hour easily and have a good time And then we've got more hill work this way. Uh, <laughs> Macy's bouncing along because she's normally allowed to canter up here. But I don't know if you can hear, but the ground is really hard. So sorry, Mace. <laughs> Ooh. And then at the top, we can either go around the turnout fields or into a woods. So again, this is really cool. This is really useful for getting the horses going in and out of the light to dark, um, getting used to the noise and the rustling. And it's nice and cool when it's boiling hot in the summer. In the spring, it's really lovely in here. It's full of daffodils and really pretty. Good girl. Of this land that you can see turns into stubble fields so for a few weeks every year we get a good old play mace is just posing for the video <laughs> he's so pretty good girl so we're just heading back to the yard now you can see that right in the distance and i will show you our arena on the way past Wind might have got a little bit up and nose bottom today. now um, so there's a track round here goes all the way around these grazing fields that belong to the top yard and yes Macy did just nearly dump me in the woods she hardly ever spooks so when she does it definitely catches me off guard good job Macy So there's another 10 stables over here. Oh God. Hello 
loads of space for lorry parking and a lovely big arena. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about the arena when we get down our end because we have a, a matching one. Now we're heading out around the back of the farm for a nice big grassy field. some of the views in the distance. Oh, and there's a train coming. Not sure if we'll see it from here actually. is the mare's grazing. Um, it goes quite far back, but you can't really see from here. So this is actually my girl's field. Big girl. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to hop across the little ditch down here to show you the Geldens grazing. Please don't laugh if I fall off. Hold on. <laughs> Good girl. So yeah, we even have a sort of ditch jump. You have to be quite brave, don't you, Mace? Good girl. And then along here is some of the Geldens grazing. So we're going to have a little trot down here, past the rest of the Geldens field, and then I will take you and show you the arena. Almost forgot, there's another lot of boys fields here, all the way up to the top. This one's Freddy's field, and it really needs poo picking, but that's okay, because that's the job for this afternoon. Lucky me. Instagram or my Facebook page um, and there'll be dates, prices, etc. So yeah, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Macy does not look convinced at all. Don't worry, you're not going in there. It's okay. Good girl. So yeah, that is the arena.
say trot. Trot, trot. Good boy. So I'm going to end the vlog there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the yard tour and the adventure of around the farm. Um, and the little clip of Freddy because I couldn't resist. Bless him. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Please give it a like. Um, leave any comments or questions below. And subscribe to the channel. See you soon.